I don't care how good you are. If Lady Luck is not on your side, you're going to the back quicker than you can say Bob's your uncle, bro. And that's all there is to it. I mean, you can be the fastest guy out there. You can be the most consistent guy out there. You can hit the best lines on the track. But if you are unlucky, you're not going to finish well. Like, there's nothing more you can do. You can try to ride safe and avoid, you know, four or five people, but then someone can just all of a sudden shoot across lanes and take you completely out. Like, if, if the luck is not there, there is literally nothing you can do to try to finish better. There just isn't. Like, there is so much luck, I feel like, involved with MX Simulator because it's so much different than real-life Supercross or Motocross because... In real life, people that are back in 15th place, they don't ride on the edge like an Eli Tomac would ride. You know, they're not hitting the quad line that Eli Tomac is hitting because they don't want to crash and hurt themselves. But with MX Simulator, if you crash in this game, all you do is just pick the bike back up and keep going. There's really no risk to actually crashing. And it makes it to where people ride way above their head. They ride way above their actual skill level. And then that creates a just completely inconsistent overall riding basis with every single one of the riders it seems like like everybody's just riding way faster than they can actually ride because there's no real risk to crashing so that is one of the biggest differences in mx simulator and real life riding is the fact that like in mx simulator people just don't care to crash they're, they're not worried about it whatsoever so you know your dude back in 15th place is riding just as much on the edge as your dude in first place and that's just kind of how it is man um but yeah i mean the complete unlucky level to the maximum here dude uh would that not be amazing though if jlv put like actual injuries and broken bones in mx simulator could you imagine how differently everybody would ride in the game if like you crashed hard enough to where you were totally done for the entire race everyone would be riding super consistent they would actually be riding like they would be in real life and uh, that would be so cool if jlv actually added something like that in there but as of right now it's just everyone thinks they're james stewart on the track so everyone's trying to hit the biggest shit at all points in time and it, it creates this system of where it's just like so many grenades on the track and it's so much more crashing than you would have in real life supercross i feel like like it just this kind of amount of crashing with people just does not happen as often in real life it's, it's just not like that because People are not going to ride that much above their skill level because they don't want to break a bone. You know, there's that physical pain element and potential to paralyze yourself or potential to never be able to race again or, you know, whatever, man. Or even worse, potential to maybe end your life on it. So people ride way more safe. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, you guys will see up here, like, I was feeling pretty good. Um, finally qualified, like, I think either 19th or 20th. Good God. I don't know what was going on with that qualifying the past couple rounds. <laughs> that triple crown thing got me all kinds of jacked up. Um, and then after that, I... It's so easy with this game to sort of, like, if you don't do good in a race, then you, you kind of, like... You, you start to leave the the pro racing and the the really training every day you, you kind of despise it a little bit and you start to to move away from it somewhat and you can't do that man even if you have a bad night in this game you got to get back on that game the next day and keep playing and keep trying and don't give up on it and you know, if shit like that happens, I mean, what can you do? There, there's just going to be certain occasions where there's nothing more you can do. You can put yourself in a good position. You can ride as best as you possibly can. And it, that luck is still going to reach up and grab your ball sack. Like, there's nothing more you can do. Okay? So, you, you, you don't need to get so... Don't be so hard on yourself if you don't do good in this game. Because it is different than real life in that sense. Where it's like, people just crash, man. They just crash way more in this game. But, yeah, finally qualified a little bit better, so that was cool. Finally got my head on straight on that aspect. Um, what I'd been doing was basically, like, I would pro race and then not play the game for, um, you know, 
all the way up until the next day of the next week of the pro race. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. Uh, I mean, what, like, what do you do here? I mean, what can you even do? Like, I would need a NOS button airplane mode or some shit to, to <laughs> do well with this amount of bad luck. I mean, it's just insane. But, um, yeah, like, basically what I was doing is I would race, and then I, like, wouldn't do very well, and then I would not play the game until the next pro race, which is a total week later down the line, and then, therefore, I'm, like, totally losing skill, and so that was kind of happening. That was my bad. We're back on that everyday MX simulator grind, so um, we should be doing a lot better here in the future, but, yeah, I'm really happy that EMF finally toned down that E-Road a little bit. I think it made it way better. Um, seems to be quite a bit more uh, reasonable here. But there is still a little bit of a problem with the E-Road in the sense of I feel like you, there's just no other way to practice with that level of E-Road lag anywhere else other than racing in the pro races. Like it's so hard to get 22 people on an E-Road server at one time to where you can actually experience that level of lag. So when you do get on there and you're actually on an E-Road server with 22 people in the pro race, it's like, whoa, this lag is insane. I, you know, I wasn't expecting this. This is crazy. I, I haven't rode with this lag anywhere else. Whereas beforehand, without the E-Road, you get to experience that sort of quote unquote server lag just with racing other people on the server. But I feel like when it comes to actual e-road lag the more people that you have on the server the more lag it seems to have like if you're only racing with five people on an e-road server um you know it's it's not even really going to be that bad of lag but if you're racing with 10 people it's going to be way more lag and then if you go up to 20 people it's going to be even more lag than that so um that is something you'll realize like it's with the e-road the more people the more lag server lag it seems to add on there but um yeah I, I, that's my heat race i was like all kinds of confused even though even in my heat race i had that weird ass bad luck again where uh i think i actually got a pretty good start in the heat race came around the first corner like maybe fourth or fifth or something like that and then someone in front of me i mean it was like a ghost literally just pushed them down. I don't know how in the hell. They were going perfectly straight. They didn't get hit by anyone, didn't touch anyone, and their bike just like completely shoots sideways. And uh, I don't even know. Kind of like that right there. Like, what the fuck, dog? <laughs> Let me back that up. I just, I'm curious to see. Oh, what did he even do, man? Let me look. William St. Laurent. What's up, homie? Oh, shit. Just getting a little slidey slide. I won't ban your ass. It's okay. I ain't pussy boy like that. So either way, um, yeah, <laughs> nothing more you can really do, man. It's uh, and that's just the nature of MX Simulator. You know, it's not quite exactly the same as real life when it comes to how people ride and how how much they crash. I mean, it's just not the same. I feel like the consistency level is just not there in the pro racing. Like, I mean, you can have somebody qualify top five every single week, but they can't race worth a shit. They ain't got consistency worth a shit, you know? It's just people, they, they think they're something because they qualify good, so then they try to get out there and race like that, but that meanwhile, they don't have the consistency to race like that, and then they completely crash and wad 10,000 people up. So that's kind of what happens there, but um, yeah, in my heat race, I, I don't know, had had two or three occasions where, uh, you know, someone would mess up directly in front of me and then couldn't really do anything. And then I had a couple of my own mistakes because, like I was saying, that E-Road lag, it was kind of like, whoa, okay, it's going to take a couple laps to get used to it. But by the time I got in this LCQ, I was way more used to that, like, E-Road with 22 people lag going on. So it's not super, super terrible once you get used to it, but um, it is kind of weird when you can't really experience that lag anywhere else and then you hop on you know, the race, and it's like, whoa, okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this here, but, um, and then also, in the heat race, I think I got, uh, completely blocked past in this corner right here, because I was taking the inside on the corner before, someone took the outside on the corner before, so it made them on the inside on that corner, Not, nothing much I could do there, um, I really thought a lot of, a lot more people was going inside on that one corner, but apparently that guy wasn't, so, uh, that happens for sure, but, yeah, man, uh, really hoping to do a lot better in the future. I uh, just, 
just yeah just having some difficulties having some problems and it seems like like i was saying before when you start to have those problems you start to kind of despise the game more you start to be like oh, i don't even want to play mx simulator you know you're you're, you're kind of mad at it and you just can't be like that you gotta gotta be relentless with it and that goes with everything in life that goes with youtube that goes with pro motocross in real life whatever it is if you're if you're you know finding yourself down in a hole or you're doing bad or you're not doing as good as you expect or whatever that's the exact time you can't give up on it that's the exact time you got to keep pushing you got to keep going because it's the people that stay relentless and never give up and do it every day those are the people that truly come out on top they just are like um and yeah so basically either way this was the lcq <laughs> Just uh, had a wonderful position, wonderful spot here. Just chill, chill riding, you know. I was like, oh, dude, this is going to be a piece of cake. I was fucking, check out this, uh, <laughs> oh, my God, turn up, baby. Call me turn up turly. Let's, uh, now, uh, not that, it definitely felt bigger whenever I was actually doing it in the race here. But you can get it turned up pretty good on this jump right here. It, like, sets you up perfect on that corner before. You can just turn it up perfectly, dude. I was like, oh, shit, dog. I was actually smiling in real life when I did that right there. He's like, dude, this is just fun, man. Like, I'm in fifth place, sixth place, like trying to catch up to a transfer spot. LCQ, last chance, baby. We're fucking turning it up. Like, oh, God, dude. I don't know. That was just fun to me. And I was like, man, we, we can get this in here if we just keep it steady. But uh, what the hell were people doing not jumping this triple? Like, what the actual fuck? I... I don't know who this guy is, but, um, like, what is going... Why were people doing that? I, I literally don't... I, I mean, every single time I got right behind somebody, they wouldn't triple this right here. I don't know what the hell they were doing. Like, what? I don't know. I'm confused as to why a lot of people weren't hitting that triple in there. Huh. That is weird. But either way, yeah, I felt like I had some pretty good lines on the track. I was able to run 56s, um... Ended up qualifying with like a 57.0, but I ended up running a couple of 56s in, uh, you know, in just the warm-up mode and shit like that. So I felt like I had a pretty good race pace going on, but um, yeah, I just couldn't get couldn't get her qualified in, man. The, the lady luck, she was uh, definitely being some biatch level for sure, but uh, you can't hate her too much, man. I mean, life's good at the end of the day, but god dang, dude. <laughs> Like, even if I just wouldn't have crashed right there, probably would have made it in. And then this dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, I I hit that one dude at the very beginning, un completely unavoidable crash. And then this right here, slide into him, try to avoid it. It's like, okay, we're okay. We didn't totally lose it. And then this guy gets right here. It's like, okay, he's not going to crash. He's kind of over to the left a little bit. And then bam, right in front of me. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I'm telling you, if luck's not on your side, luck is not on your side. There's nothing more you can do. There is nothing more you can do, bro. It's not like you can just, you know, poof poof a position out of nowhere see that's where racing is so much different than like like uh pub or basketball or whatever those things are a lot more based upon like okay you might miss a you might completely airball a three-pointer but then you can go swish five three-pointers in a row right after that or um whatever pub g you know i guess pub is a little bit different i guess call of duty would be a better comparison like if you get killed three times in a row well then right after that you can go get on a 20 kill streak but with mx simulator like if you crash in a race and have some bad luck you're in the back you can't get more track position you run out of time so it's a very like um non-friendly to mistakes kind of thing in racing and uh it's it's a cool thing to have it like that but it's also a very uh savage thing as well because if you start doing bad then you can't you can't do any you can't like make up for it you know you can go faster but you don't have the track position so you can't do anything more you know but uh either way that's the lcq action man um we'll get her in there here in the future but this will go down in history. Oh, I slid in the last corner. Fucking killer, Spence. But, uh, yeah, this will go down in history as one of the craziest pro racing seasons in uh, MX Simulator, without a doubt. Uh, just with all the EMF, Triple Crown, Eero, 
the different kind of qualifying kind of stuff going on the no semis this is the first time i've raced with no semis in the pro racing um all this stuff i guarantee this will go down in history as the craziest you know weirdest season of supercross maybe besides the very first one but um other than that this will go down as the craziest one just with all the random wild stuff going on so if you're not doing too hot this season don't feel too bad there's a lot of crazy other elements coming into it that's making it way different than it was the past you know four or five years but either way appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes